afternoon guys well it's been a very busy day today cut and um, cut up lots and lots of wood and had a fun day as well because I've had the chance to try some of my absolute all-time favorite early saws so I was cutting with my Danon 71 which is just fantastic and then I took a few discs with one of my Pioneer 650s, the last of her breed. So 103 cc's, gorgeous. And I think, yep, I did. I videoed the Makita this morning. Just sublime. Just that saw is so pristine. And and when I was using one of my John Seed 80s this morning and uh, talking about the compression and oh, and I haven't trained the 4400 again like brand new 22 years old and just just staggering condition so I thought I'm going to show you one of my prized John Seed 80s which is just hung up for 99% of the time and So this girl has even more compression than the one I use for cutting, <laughs> if, if that were possible. So she's running a gorgeous period Oregon Supertronic 23 inch solid nose guide bar with fantastic symmetry. Um, obviously pro saws in their day from 1970, 80cc's displacement. And so if you look back at some of the saws, similar era, so I guess if you look back, okay, so if you looked at the smaller brother to this then, so if you looked at the John Seed 751, 75 cc's uh, from 68, 69, um, 50 mil piston, 38 mil stroke. So this one's a 52 mil piston. So like the steel 045 then, which is again a, 50 mil piston and a 38 mil stroke, and like the 07, 75 cc, so 52, a thumper of a piston, and I was a bit shocked really again, I, I love the Danon 71, but the 80 just outperforms it, and really quite easily as well, just such a, it feels just like a lazy, talky engine, but just, it's just monster compression, so um, my understanding was that John Seed stopped making the 80 and its slightly newer brother, which is the which is the 801, and the differences between the two, they're only um, is a louvred a louvred air filter housing. So you I think there's only you only see this on two of the John Seed saws, which is the 801 and the 90. And you can tell the difference because the 90 has a decompression valve on top. And so that's really, I think, why the consensus was that John Seed stopped these because the compression is just absolutely massive. I mean, it's... let me switch that off. And if you don't full-blooded pull these things over, they can really, really hurt your hands. But they are a gorgeous piece of kit to use. So. So I'm unsure if this one's going up for sale. It may do. It may go up for sale just because of, um, of a John Seard 90, which I have been looking at. So all original, no brakes anywhere on this saw. Original exhaust in a standing condition. I, the piston, uh, double ringed pistons is in perfect condition. All the paintwork around there, gorgeous. And just, she had, an original Tillotson uh, carburetor rebuild kit, the correct one, correct fuel pickup, new plug, um, just fully serviced in that regard. Bar spectacular. Chain is end of life, but I know is definitely was put away sharp. So let me show you what these things perform like. They are eye opening. Um, so 23 inch bar. And I've got a piece of wood here which is okay we'll have to move the bar around a bit so it's about 25 27 how far is that 
so maybe 28 inches across that'll give you an indication of just what these engines pull like when the bar is sunk deep in the wood oh. actually on the subject of wood this was really interesting shout out to my friend SG he came up with um dropped me some cherry tree the other day which is has become rotten through the middle and I'd never thought of it before but cut into this type of length he said they make amazing bird boxes so you can put the correct size um, hole in the side if you're putting it for blue tits or whatever type of bird you like to have nesting near you put plates on the ends mount them they got and he said apparently the birds just go straight to them because it's all wood and it's just so I'm going to put a couple of these up I was very fortunate to be able to get out of the hollow wood we had I have enough to make a several bird boxes so that's pretty exciting so I'm going to get them up on the oak tree and I'll actually photograph that when they're up and I'll let you know how I get on because that's really interesting if you can find hollowed wood beautiful beautiful natural bird boxes okay so this girl hasn't been cut with for a while and it's a spectacular running engine so it can run up to a can run up to a 31 inch bar on paper although they state less on the 801 which is a little bit strange because they they're the same internals as far as I'm aware but I have one of these with a 32 inch bar and she pulls it um, power wise they make I think between 3.5 and 3.6 kilowatts so they're not far shy of, of a genuine five horsepower kill switch always full blooded choke off oh. So <laughs> it's <laughs> so this is how a spectacular John Seed 80 cuts. It doesn't it doesn't miss a beat. They are oh my God, they are ferocious, ferocious creatures, and just incredible, incredible tools to use. They're just even when the blade is fully in, the engines just don't miss a beat. Um, they're just sublime. And of course, this type of size engine now is disappearing from most manufacturers' lineups. So they're just a gorgeous thing to have in your collection. And just, they're just sublime tools to use. They're quite incredible to cut with. Let's, uh, Not big enough to give it uh, some justice. Ah, okay. Let's see. Put that there. Ah. Ah. Just 
trying to find something, guys, I can put up and just take another disc. Right, and this wood is dreadful for cutting, it really labours the saws. So many knots running through it, additional branches and growth coming out. Okay, God, you can forget how addictive they are to use. Oi. Kill switch. your wood if you try it. It's just sublime power. Look at it, just wow. It's just a lovely piece of wood actually. Okay guys, thanks for watching. So that's my spectacular time warp John Sid 80 running a supertronic 23 inch bar Oregon full chisel chain, um, sharp, <laughs> and just the craziest, craziest amount of compression. Hope that's interesting, guys. And, okay, if I get time a bit later, I've got to refuel at the 650. I'll show the 650 cutting again as well, because she's, they're just gorgeous as well. Bye for now, you guys.